we are only one of the many parts of the process. This National Assembly will be making their decision. From there, we'll go to the Senate. And there's also the, the courts, if need be. And this is on the basis of that, Honorable Speaker, that we must isolate personal issues from issues which make sense to Kenyans. So that, Honorable Speaker, we don't, as a house, go for what I'll call mob justice mentality, and at the end of the day, the other stages, we lose it. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, in the past, this house has been thrown under the bus because of this kind of mentality, where we go, make decisions, and out there, when they go to the courts, a number of our acts of parliament have been declared unconstitutional, basically because as members, we come here and we start shouting and assuming that other people there are not watching. Or to speak what am I saying? I've listened to the grounds of this motion, this impeachment motion, and I've listened to my friend, Honorable Mutuse, making the presentation and trying to justify some of these grounds, Honorable Speaker. I want to pick a few of them and ask myself whether they really they meet the expectations in terms of saying that the DP should be beached on those grounds. The first one, Honorable Speaker, is the issue of demolitions. In this country, Honorable Speaker, when you go to our constitution, it clearly says that Kenyans have a right. They have their own rights. And if the government has made a decision to carry out demolitions, looking at the hierarchy in terms of governors, the topmost person in terms of hierarchy is the president, is not the deputy president. So in a situation where that decision is made, and the deputy president doesn't say, says he doesn't support it, the question is, should you be harassing the deputy president or the president? Because the person who took the oath as the head of the executive is the president or the deputy president. So on the basis of those demolitions, Honorable Speaker, it is going to be very unfair to start saying it is the deputy president who is in supporting the president, because at the end of the day, whose decision did, did carry the day? That's the question. The second issue, Honorable Speaker, is the issue of shareholding. Honorable members, let's be very honest with ourselves. We are all politicians. We have been voted in. We represent the constituencies. How many of you can say that you, have no, you are not practicing what is being explained in this motion? How many? Let's be very honest with ourselves. Let's be very honest with ourselves that most of you, majority of you, are doing exactly what is being said in this motion. It's only that don't say it publicly. That's the truth of the matter, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Yes, uh, point, uh, Honorable Speaker. Molo, there's a point of order. Yeah, I have no problem, Honorable Speaker. Yeah. I hope I'll be yes, saving my time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on a point of order, my name is Steve Mogaka from West Mogrango. Is the member on the floor in order to speak about what I practice? What does he know about what I practice? Can he restrict himself to what he does and not start uh, uh, throwing us passions on members of parliament as if he is in their minds and he is in their practice, as he is not? Is he not out of order? Yes, uh, Makali. Honorable Speaker, I really don't see any point of order there. I ignore and proceed. Honorable Speaker, the issue of the judicial officer, who is being accused yes, as one of the grounds for uh, this. Honorable Speaker. Order, Makali. And Honorable Speaker. There's another point of order another here. point of order. Take your seat. Yeah. Give Farah the mic. Mr. Speaker, is the Honorable Makali, somebody I have a lot of respect for, in order to compare a member of parliament who represents a constituency and the functions of that member and somebody who is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya who represents the four corners of this country and say that because the members of parliament go and develop, uh, uh, my presumption is that he thinks the CDF funds for one constituency cannot be taken to another constituency. But that's a different thing when it comes to national resources and the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Makali, wind up, your time is up. You know, you know, Honorable Speaker, 
I have this one just to drive me to not to say what I wanted to say. Honorable Speaker. I can see a very deliberate move to curtail me from saying what I want to say. Do you want honorable Speaker, from Nimrod Bay? Honorable Speaker, you know the thing is, Honorable Speaker, and Honorable Speaker, you need to protect me on a serious. You have been protecting everybody who you has spoken. Unless also, also, Honorable Speaker, you're on the same side of those who are supporting. Or, because or, on a serious, Honorable Speaker, or, or I don't think it's fair. You have been protecting everybody else. Mulu. You can't protect. Order. Honorable Makali Mulu. Order, Honorable Makali Mulu. You've been sitting here since we started. Order, Makali. Not a single previous speaker attracted a single point of order. If any came, the speaker will allow it. Not a single person raised a point of order. In fact, I'm being gracious by asking you, Nimrod Mbai wants to inform you, do you want this information? If you don't want it, you go on. But for you, order, Makali Mulu. You know, when you lose... When you lose your cool, you also lose the argument. So just be composed, say your bit. The speaker has no dog in this fight. Just say what you want to say, finish, and we give space to somebody else. And any member who wants to stand on a point of order, it's in within your standing orders. He has said he doesn't want your information. Go on. You, you, you know, Honorable Speaker, with all due respect, people have been making their, their, their contribution here since morning. Nobody has been shouting point of order. So, and it's, 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 my democratic, it's my democratic position to oppose the motion. Order. Honorable Speaker. On. Honorable Speaker, I've been elected by the people of Kitui Central to come this house three times. And nobody can, can assume that I cannot make my contribution. Honorable Speaker, I've been saying, on the matter of judicial officer. Wind up. The judicial officer has been accused of corruption in related matters, Honorable Speaker. And there is a court case, or as we are speaking. Are we running away from accountability as a country? Why don't we allow the courts to do their work up to the conclusion that as a house, we want to make this as a ground for impeachment, Honorable Speaker? This is what we are saying. There is separation of power, Honorable Speaker, and we should respect that. The other thing, Honorable Speaker, the India of officer has been called by the DP. Just called. How many of us here since morning have been called by the President? How many of us here since morning have been called by the Deputy President pleading with us to either support or oppose? Can you be bitched on that note? On a serious note, we need to be... I'm saying, Honorable Speaker, from where we are seated as a house, you go for mob, mob justice mentality, you lose it at the top there, you are trying to reduce the credibility of this house to the lowest... grounds for opposition of this motion. Is it a situation where a thief has been sent to court to, to catch another thief? This is a situation. Honorable Speaker, this country has much more I serious issues than what we are discussing. Mike Trisa. Your time is up. Order. I will now order. Take your seats. Order. Robert Mbai. Boy. Order, Robert Mbui. Give him one minute to finish. Yeah, Honorable Speaker. So I was saying, Honorable Speaker, Kenyans have said that Kitui Sendro in particular has said, Kufa Makanga, Kufa Ndereva, Kufa Mechanic. Because Kenyans are more serious issues. And when they die, we want a new re renewal of this country, Honorable Speaker. This idea of mob justice, we are not going to allow it in this country. Kenyans are more serious things. I op oppose, Honorable Speaker. Mele Odiambo to speak to the <laughs> public participation report. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I was just wondering if after speaking to the public participation that I could also just make my contribution. 